This installation guide is for a Toyota Prius. The part installed in this video is a Kurt model number 11276 hitch. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. A hitch on a Toyota Prius? Yes, you can. Let's break this hitch down and get you out on the trails or towing a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Okay, so right out of the box, you can see that we have an inch and a quarter receiver hitch. It's got a round tube design. Going up to the passenger side here, we have frame brackets with two attachment points here and here. Then over to the driver's side, we have two attachment points here and here as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this vehicle prepped up for the hitch install. Okay, let's get the exhaust lowered here. We're gonna start with this rubber exhaust hanger and we're just going to pry it off of the exhaust rod. And to help us out a little bit, I'm gonna spray some soapy water on it. Just like that. Okay, our next step is gonna be removing the exhaust bracket here. It's held up by the these two bolts here and here. Um, I'll drop it down, put the hitch up, and then the whole bracket goes right back in place and sandwiching the hitch up there. Let's go ahead and remove it. I'll be using a ratchet, five inch extension, and 17 millimeter socket to take these down. the most rear bolt still using our 17 millimeter socket you'll see that that whole bracket just comes down now we'll do the exact same thing on the driver's side okay we're over on the driver's side now um, we do have to remove this tow hook. To do that, it will be the identical pattern as removing the exhaust bracket on the passenger side. Um, when we do lower the, the tow hook down, um, we will not be using it again. The hitch will take its place. Um, this is gonna take a, an, a ratchet, an extension, and a 17 millimeter socket to get these two bolts down. Um, it's kind of a tight space here, but the underbody paneling is pretty flexible, so you can move it around and push it around. Just be careful when you're pulling your tools back out that it doesn't, uh, you don't lose your tools up inside the underbody paneling here. Let's see, they come out pretty easy. Go ahead and just spin the ratchet. Okay, now we'll get our most rear bolt here. and we'll return this to the owner here. Okay, now that we have the driver's side tow hook out of, the, out of place here, we can go ahead and take the hitch and put it right back into that position. I'm going to angle the hitch up and start on the driver's side there. And I'll let it rest on the exhaust tip here while I get the exhaust bracket ready. We're using the provided 12 millimeter bolt with a conical tooth washer. You can see that the teeth are facing up. They'll be contacting the exhaust bracket. Just like that. And the exhaust bracket will be sandwiching the hitch up to the frame. Um, this here. Just like that. And we'll get it up into place. Okay, now that we have the passenger side secured, we'll go ahead and go over to the driver's side. 
the again it's it's a really tight space in here so i'm going to be using a five inch ext extension and 19 millimeter socket i'm going to take our 12 millimeter bolt with a conical teeth washer the teeth facing up it'll be contacting the hitch i'll just drop it in my socket here i'm going to raise up and spin until i catch the weld nut there and spin okay we have the exhaust hanger back up and as you can see this is the hitch here and this is the bracket that is sandwiching the hitch up to the frame we can go ahead and tighten down our m12 bolts to 86 foot pounds and we'll be done on this side here should hear a click as soon as it gets to the proper torque. There we go. Okay. Now we'll raise our exhaust back into position while we're right here. Simply up. Line up the holes and just push it in. There we go, and you can see that the exhaust does not touch the hitch. Okay, let's go ahead and move over to the driver's side and torque those bolts down. Okay, we're torquing down our last bolt here. There's our click. And just be a little careful when you're pulling down your tool that you don't lose your socket and the underbody paneling here. Okay, let's take a look at our hitch. Wow, that's a great looking hitch. Um, you can see the, the nice stylish round tube design um, looks really good with the back bumper fascia here. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of the hitch. We have our inch and a quarter receiver here. It's going to measure inch and a quarter on all sides. On the side of the receiver tube, we have a half inch pin and clip hole. You can also use this for locking devices. Um, we also have our tow loops here. This is for if you're towing a trailer, it's where you put uh, both your chains here. Then this hitch is rated for 2,000 pounds gross trailer weight and 200 pounds tongue weight. Tongue weight is going to be the weight that's being pushed down right about this area, right in front of the receiver tube. Um, that'll do it for our hitch for this Toyota Prius. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Once installed, this hitch will measure 12 inches from the top inside of the receiver to the ground and 2 inches from the pinhole to the end of the bumper. The end of the receiver will be flush with the end of the bumper. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.